Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hopefully that's us started. Hope and so. And we should be able to find ourselves coming online pretty I shortly. Hope so. Hope so, hope yes. so, hope so. Yes. Give me a second. Um, Hello. Hello. It's now live. Here we are. Good. Oh, yeah. I'm now live. I'm now live too. Good stuff. Yeah. 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 Well, hopefully you'll gradually be able to join together with us and uh, we should be able to Start very, very shortly. Hope so. Yes. Nine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Keep up. Yeah. There we, are. there we go. Everybody coming Miss in. Gordon, Drew, me, Linda, Joy. Donald. Donald. Yeah. There we are. So we're going international right from the start. Right from the world. start, absolutely. So we've got watching. Donald, Joy, Linda, yes. Margaret, Rooney. <clears throat> Drew, we're sending a, a couple from the core yes. over to Thailand. We've told them, just look out for somebody who looks Scottish <laughs> called Drew. So if you um, happen to bump into Christine and Keith, who are English, despite living in, in Nairn, the <laughs> they're good folk from the core and... They would no one. No one would be more surprised than them if they actually. If they did. actually did see it. I don't know where about some Thailand they're going. Might Just, not be anywhere near no, you. No idea. We didn't ask. We didn't tell where you were either. <laughs> Donald coming in from Lisbon today. Yes. Um, just about to start your second walk on the Camino. Um, he starts tomorrow um, from Lisbon to Camino del Santiago. Yes. Yes, something like that. So, uh, hope everything goes well for you tomorrow, Donald, as you start off on that journey. Plenty of water, as I said. Make sure you cover that head. You don't yeah. have this to, <laughs> to cover it, Donald, but, you know, you, even I would have to wear a hat in the kind of heat that they get in Portugal. Yeah. And we can't wait to hear all about it when you come back. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so. Mum's here, we can start. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Announcements, please. Announcements. Well, we're starting to get back to some kind of normality, whichever, whatever that might be. Remember that phrase, the new normal? The new normal. Well, here we think... go again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this week, well, Tuesday night... I think there's some of the women going out for a wee walk because the home league hasn't started back. I keep uh -huh. forgetting about that. So I think, because we didn't do it last week, but I think they're going this week. Um, and also the food bank is on Wednesday and Friday um, between 9 and 12. We had mm. off over 80 between the two days. So it's not getting any less. Um, people come into the door for help. So that's Wednesday and Friday, and on Wednesday afternoon at quarter to one is we care. We're starting it's twelve forty-five. That's the same difference. Okay. <laughs> uh, twelve forty-five to be precise. Saying that keeps you happy. Or quarter to one. Or quarter to one till half past two, okay. and then next Sunday we have our morning worship at uh, ten thirty in person in Inverness, and we'll be on here six o'clock next Sunday evening. And we've not had a songs of praise for a while, so let's have a songs of praise. Okay. Okay, so you all know what to do. Favourites in the comments or send us a message and we will do our utmost. And we'll remind you through the meeting. What yes. Was, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So songs of praise next Sunday, six o'clock. Requests, please. We'll let you know when the list is full. So if we don't put anything on, you know that we're still looking for songs. Well, sometimes I put a little reminder on if we are needing some. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, I've got some difficult uh, songs for Isabel to play. Oh, so, right? do you know this? I, I, one of them, I'm, I just don't even know that we're going to get it right, but never mind. We'll just keep singing. Well. Hopefully. Yes. We're going to start with number 266. Yep. 
Yeah. This, one, this one's okay. I've just changed the key in it. Oh, 266. Right, okay. Never fades the name of Jesus, nor is dimmed by passing time. Jesus' name is everlasting, for its meaning is sublime. Jesus' name brings joy and gladness, daily sending forth new life. In his name there's power to gather souls of men from ways of strife. Never the name of Jesus, nor is dim by passing time. Jesus' name is everlasting, only feeling is sublime. Jesus' name brings joy and gladness, daily sending forth new life. I just put joy, joy, joy. I'm taking that's the one that he wants. Could you just put in the comments, yes, if that's the one you want? Thank you. Don't want to send them up the, the wrong song. And let's just share um, a prayer right at the start of our worship. Father God, we thank you again that we're able to join together in this way. We thank you, Lord, for so many people um, from all over the world who've joined with us this evening. And we just thank you for that. We thank you, Lord, that although we're far away, we can be one in your name and your spirit. This evening, Father, um, we pray for those perhaps who need you in a very, very special way, that you'll draw close to them and that you'll be with them. Um, and as they journey through this next week, that you'll walk close by. Father, as we have this time of worship, we pray, Lord, that you will be in everything that we see and do. And as we open your word this evening, may we indeed learn something new of your love for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. That's it. <clears throat> okay. That's it. Good. <laughs> Good. 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 Okay. So for those who come in late. Songs of praise next Sunday. <laughs> so please put your um, requests, requests in. in. Thank you. We'll do our best and uh, we'll, we'll then do our best to try and... Accommodate. There's a big word. Accommodate. On you. Uh, yeah, I know. Can you spell it? Uh, IT. <laughs> yes. Your mum's never oh. heard that tune before. Well, maybe that's because it, it used to be one that the songsters used to sing. I used to sing that one in the songsters. So there you go. 
and probably one of the old, not the gems, I think the musical Salvationist uh, will be behind you. Song 84. Jesus, the name high over all, in hell or earth or sky, angels and men before him fall, and devils fear and fly. Song 84. Jesus, the name high over all, in hell or earth or sky, angels and men before him fall, and devils fear and fly. We have no other argument, we want no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died, and that he died for me. Jesus, the name to sinners give, the name to sinners give. He scatters all their guilty fear, he turns their hell to hell. We have no other argument, we want no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died, and that he died for me. Jesus, the prisoners, fetters break, and bruises Satan's head. Power into strength, the souls he speaks, and life into the dead. We have no other argument, we want no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died, and that he died for me. And see the riches of his grace. The arms of love that compass me, who all mankind embrace. We have no other argument, we want no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died, and that he died for me. His glorious righteousness I show, His saving to proclaim. Tis of my business here below, to cry behold the Lamb. We have no other argument, we want no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died, and that He died for me. I may but grasp his name, preach unto all and cry in death, behold, behold the Lamb. We have no other argument, we want no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died, and that he died for me. Our scripture reading for this evening is taken from St John's Gospel, chapter 2, and we're going to read uh, from verse 1 through to verse 11. John, Gospel, chapter 2. The next day there was a wedding celebration in the village of Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there, and Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the celebration. The wine supply ran out during the festivities, so Jesus' mother told him, they have no more wine. Dear woman, that's not our problem, Jesus replied. My time has not yet come. But his mother told the servants, do whatever he tells you. Standing nearby were six stone water jars used for Jewish ceremonial washing. Each could hold 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus told the servants, fill the jars with water. When the jars had been filled, he said, Now dip some out and take it to the master of ceremonies. So the servants followed his instructions. When the master of ceremonies tasted the water that was now wine, not knowing where it had come from, though of course the servants knew, he called the bridegroom over. A host always serves the best wine first, he said. Then when everyone has had a lot to drink, he brings out the less expensive wine. But you have kept the best until now. This miraculous sign at Cana in Galilee was the first time Jesus revealed his glory and his disciples believed in him. Amen. Mm. 
I'm going to turn to another song now, number 134. Number 134. I'm actually making Isabel do overtime tonight. Okay. Normally we share three songs each. Um, she's got a fourth bonus at the end. I don't know what he's thinking this week. I don't know. Just get me in practice for the songs of praise. Yeah, okay, whatever. That's what it is. That's what get, it is. Get that thumb hardened up again and your fingers on the other hand hardened up. Number 134. Above all powers, above all kings, above all nature and all created things, above all wisdom and all the ways of man, you were here before the world began. Above all powers, above all kings, above all nature and all created things, above all wisdom and all the ways of between us as we got to the end the first time I know. through I was on that one I don't think it's this one but an air day so that shows you how long ago <laughs> that was and um, we used to sing that with the songsters there but uh, yeah there we go okay almost remembered it just about I had a panic I had this real panic before the meeting because I'm thinking oh, I can't sing this one I can't remember how it goes <laughs> so again we'll put a reminder in next week is going to be a songs of praise um, so for those who joined us a little bit later, um, please get your songs in and we'll do our best. The easy ones will come to me, the more difficult ones of course. Isabel so will... make them all easy and he'll play <clears throat> them all. Isabel will be playing. <laughs> there you are. Really? Yes. Okay. So, Jesus, the best and the last is our theme for this evening. And I said to Isabel, first of all, to have a look for some best things. Oh. How many did you get? Oh, I've got to four. You've got to four. But I'm not, yeah, I mean, it, it, is, it is things that are best to me. They might not be best that's to okay. you, but they're no, best well, to me. No, well, that's the whole <laughs> idea of it. It's your yeah. interpretation. When you go, what's your first one? Okay, we'll, get the, we'll get the, we'll do the good stuff first, eh? Well, it's, hopefully it's the best stuff. Well, it is the best stuff, actually. My best china. <laughs> that's the best Hold china. carefully. 
the kids used to say if this was coming out is the DC coming because <laughs> I think every time when, when my mum and dad were officers and you were having posh folk well I don't know the DC I don't know the DC sorry Gillian if you're watching you're very posh I haven't quite taken these cups out when you've come but I do have the mugs yes. <laughs> the, you know, these are a bit kind of well, I've got fat stubby fingers in the thing you don't get a lot of tea in there by you know? you don't so these don't get used very often my best china your best china. I'm going to set it up there because I'm frightened. I'm frightened. Okay, so, okay. so that can remind you of the best. My first best. Yeah. My first best is the shirt. This is one that we we got um, on the north shore of Oahu in Hawaii. Um, I was looking at another shirt and I couldn't make up my mind about the size of the shirt. And whether it would fit me or not and i went back and no we didn't go back the lady lost patience with she me she told you it would never fit you yeah she lost patience with me and uh, so i went someplace else and i cocked this it's not the best quality hawaiian shirt it is a genuine one yeah but i mean when she when when you walked away she said please come back the thing is she would have made a good sale because i was going to buy a dress well you were but there yeah. we are i got this and I, it is Probably the loudest, if not the best, the loudest of my shirts. Best holiday. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Best. Best. Okay. This one. Oh. Oh. It's not my best toy or best anything. It says class of 2011, so that was the best class. <laughs> <laughs> On your course, maybe. On my course, the best. Because we were the first, so we were the best. I don't know if any of you are watching. We were the best class. and We had all the problems. And hopefully now that the, well, the, kind of, the course has kind of evolved and it's not the same as what it was when, when we did it. But we were cohort number one, the best class. And that just, because the kids bought me this when I graduated. Mm -hmm. So there we go. Okay. That was my thinking. So, hey. Here's... My best psychology book since you were doing your um, course. <laughs> this was the best psychology book that I found. Motivating Your Church was based on intrinsic motivation, which is a psychology theory in, in positive psychology. And this actually put it into practice in, within the church setting. And that's what I based my dissertation on. So it was looking at something called God's Acre. And the A stood for autonomy. So people were allowed to choose things for themselves rather than, than being told what they had to do. The, it, the C stood for competence. So it was something that would stretch them, but wasn't too difficult for them to do because there's nothing worse than failing the whole time for, for your motivation. So. It was something that they could do, but it would stretch them. The R was relatedness, so it was people working together. Um, and the E was the environment. There has to be an environment that allows people to flourish within the church. So it wasn't just about psychology, it was about the church. It was putting that within the church context. So. Um, one of the people who wrote it was a, a bona fide psychologist. The other, Reverend Chris Aridas, it was at the time pastor of St. Margaret of, Ch of Scotland Church in New York. Um, and so it was really, really good to be able to put the two sides together. And that made a massive difference when we were um, at Airdrie, putting that into practice. And um, first of all, working with the young people, but then in taking that on to work with the rest of the core mm. as well. So it wasn't just a case of doing a course for the sake of it, but actually trying to improve our ministry. So that was the best book that I discovered. Okay. Got something else? Yeah. I just need to find it in here. There we go. The best tablet recipe ever. Ooh. Ooh. It's Meiji's tablet, my granny, mama, mama's tablet. Best tablet recipe ever. So are you putting that right up to the screen? No, because so it's a secret. It's, <laughs> it's, it's in a, a book. book. 
Ah, but you see, there is a there is a knack to making it, and I don't think that that that's portrayed in that recipe. I think folk will have made it and thought that's no word. There's a knack, oh. and I know the knack. <laughs> Best tablet recipe ever. Right. Oof. So for those of you who don't know what tablet is, it's like fudge, but it's harder than fudge. He's disappeared. He's gone and left me. No, he's not. He's still in the room. He's still in the room. He's still in the room. Okay. Best. Best. Best day of the week is Friday at the moment for food. And I get my Cornish pasty. Oh, wonderful. I'm looking forward to fr- What's that? Look at that. I know. Oh, it, I don't know if you can see that, but we can see the, um, the steam coming off of that. It's just come out of the freezer and it's going back in the freezer. And it's a steak and stilton. It's steak and stilton. How do I know that? Because there's a square on it. Yeah. And, yeah. and it also it's says, written on the packet. It also says on the packet. Other, other pasties are available. But lavenders do a mean pasty. Oh. Yeah. Oh, do it to Friday. <laughs> on you go. On I go. Right, so my last one. We used to do three, but he said he had four and I wasn't going to be outdone. No, you weren't. So, we've been many places. We have. But this represents the best place. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the best place to be um, Orkney. So I was trying to think of something to, to, to kind of show it and that's it there. That's, how long did it take for you to do that? <laughs> <laughs> Too long. <laughs> um, I think I started it when we were in East Kilbride and I finished it when we were in Stornoway. I think it took a couple of years. It's very, very fine, Ada. It's a, what they call a 27 count. The holes are very, very tiny. But, um, yeah. And was that the one where we had to make an alteration to the, the pattern? Yeah, uh, no. The, the place of the boat? Yeah. No, 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 that was that was the other one, the Lewis and Harris one. That's the Lewis and Harris one, is yeah, it? Yeah, no, no, this boat's been okay because... The boats are in the right place. There's the Ola. It looks as though it's a, a the good cinema. day. <laughs> it looks like a good day. Yeah, yeah well, I think so. at the moment, the, the St Ola is going west. Yeah. If so it was a bad day, it would go east. It would go. Through the shelter of Hoy. It would go... That North way. of Swona. Yeah, it would go that way. From by Long Hope and that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So there you go. So we've had something to eat from me. There also has to be something to drink as well. And that's the best for me. Now, the purists will notice that it's sugar free. I'm going to the dentist a week on Monday, so it's sugar-free. Absolutely wonderful. If you haven't ever tasted iron brew, try and find it. Try and find some iron brew. It's wonderful stuff. That's my favourite drink, of course. Being Scottish, everybody thinks, so oh, they've got to like whiskey. And, of course, Salvation Army officers shouldn't be liking whiskey. So iron brew it is. Iron brew every time. Yes. Okay. Okay. So. All the best things. Best things. Mm. One of the things I really missed <laughs> when our children got to the age of being junior soldiers was dressing them up in their Sunday best. Yeah. Having those really special outfits. Mind mm. you, Erlen still went on about wearing his uniform. His uniform. <laughs> his uniform. Before yeah. he was a junior soldier, that was his uniform. But mum was really good at finding yeah. really fantastic dresses yeah, for Ola. For, for Ola. <laughs> my dad, used to, my dad Ola. used to shop in a certain shop for Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He did. He did. Okay. Your yeah, mum's going yuck. I take it she doesn't like iron blue. Or the pasty. I'm, <laughs> or not, the sure. Pasty. I'm not sure which one. Okay. Time to sing again. Song number 96. There's no other name but this name, but and no other name will do. There's no other name but Jesus for folk like me and you. For no other name brings pardon and sets everybody free. There's no other name but Jesus for you and me. 
Okay. <laughs> she was out on a mercy mission. Oh, right. right. Okay. There we are. So we've done the best things. Now the last things. Are there any times when you've been last? <laughs> yeah, sports day. <laughs> sports. Day. <coughs> that was never very athletic. You know when Ola was running through the. <laughs> yes. When she was running through the obstacle race, and I, well, my, I didn't, my mum was, I just was last. I was just last. Yeah. Yeah. O Ola did the, the obstacle race with a massive smile on her face, despite the, the, the bobble in her hair getting caught in the cargo <laughs> net as she tried to, to crawl underneath it. She still had a massive smile on her face, even when she was coming in last. So you just struggled with... Yeah, I'm not. I love watching sport. I love you know watching all kinds of most kinds of sport. I'm not so cricket. I'm not not into cricket or golf or anything like that. But I do well, like the football and the rugby and the athletics. You hardly gave the shinty a second glance yesterday. Mm, not sure about the shinty. That's kind of wicked sport. That. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Hockey was bad enough to yeah. me without um, me getting involved in shinty. And I think if we'd stood and watched, where were we? Canic. Canic. Yes, in Strathclass. Way the back of beyond. It was. <laughs> um, it's lovely. Yeah. No phone signal. No phone signal. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, when when have I been last? Um, when I took part in a triathlon, an individual triathlon uh, on the Isle of Lewis, I was the last man to finish. But I finished before the women. That was my aim, really. My aim, first of all, was to finish. But second, um, not to have any of the women going past me at the end. I think that would have been quite embarrassing. Mm -hmm. um, but I wasn't. Th there wasn't much in it, actually. Um, the swimming is great. <clears throat> the running wasn't bad. The cycling, I was on a mountain bike while other people were on racers. Yeah. And I think that was probably the, the daft thing. But you know, I was raising money. And it helped us um, to take the band from Stornoway down the islands on a tour, didn't it? It did. 
It's certainly it is. So, yeah. yeah. Any other times? Yeah, always last to be picked. Last to be picked? Yeah. In a, if it was a team thing, always last. Okay. Well, if it was sport, yes. <laughs> if it was sport, yes. Always last to be picked. That nobody wanted me at that team. <laughs> Dear. I know. That's really bad, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but that's the way it was. Well. <laughs> When I was at school, I was the last in my Latin class. Okay. Even the way I say it, Latin. Latin. L-A-T-I-N. Latin. Latin. Yes. <laughs> um, I still got an A <laughs> for my O grade Latin. But I, the teacher was such a slave driver. I didn't do higher Latin, you'll understand. Um, I still got an A. But it was clearly the lowest in the class because mine was band five. Mm -hmm. I'm, I can't even, I'm, I'm not even sure how we knew what the bands were, but they must have informed the school. And uh, I had band five where everybody had band four or above. So at least I passed it. Absolutely. And I was happy with that and I was happy with getting I'd have been happy if I got an A band five. Yeah, well, I was happy. It was just the fact that then the teacher was able to say, and, you know, everybody else has done better than you. I got an A-band five in my music, but I don't think I was last. But no. I got an A-band five. Yes. Yeah, for this is saying, at least I could laugh about it. Mm, yes. um, yeah. You know, because, well, I actually, you know, if I'm watching, like I've been to junior camps where they've picked, kids have picked teams, and I always feel for the one that's left, because mm. I know how they feel. <laughs> Another last. When I was doing my practical music exam, I was quite happy to let everybody go f before me. Were right? You? Well, yeah, because because I was really quite nervous, but I didn't go last because I suddenly because I thought this is really you know because thinking about it, thought, this is really yeah. stupid because it's not going to put it off. I still have to do it, so <laughs> I just said to the music teacher, "I'm going in next." <laughs> I think I went in the middle. I think I let three go in front of me because um, I was really quite nervous. I wasn't convinced that I was going to pass it. Um, and to stand up, well, to, to be in a class, so I, I can't remember, I think it was two two pieces I had to play and one piece I had to sight read and then I had to play scales and then you had to sing scales and everything as well. Mm -hmm. um, and it wasn't the fact that I couldn't do it. I could... But it was the fact that I would have to stand up and do it in front of somebody that I didn't really know. And you know this, he was a real, oh, he was a real sweetie man, this man. Mm -hmm. He was, and I, and I met, I don't know if I, I think I've ever said on here before, I met him years later. Right. Um, when in my capacity as work, and he came in the bank and the assistant manager, they took because he knew him because he was from Aberdeen. And I went, is he a music, is he a music professor? And he said, yeah, I said, I think he was, he was the examiner in my own in music. He didn't recognise me, thankfully. But I passed it. But it was the fact that, I don't know if it was thinking, I would, it was psychological if I go last. But it, but it still had to come and you still had to mm -hmm. do it and you still had to, yeah. Wow. I, 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 yeah, I, I can understand the trying to put it off, but that really is just... Prolonging the agony. Absolutely. Isn't it? Yeah. And it was agony. So sometimes we talk about the agony of being last. And, and as Salvation Army officers, one of, the, one of the things you could watch out for, if you ever go to in person worship at Salvation Army and there are different Salvation Army officers, perhaps on holiday or something, um, see who's last out of the hall. Because. <laughs> Yes. It's something that just happens because we're Salvation Army officers. Usually we're the ones with the key to lock up. Yeah. We don't have to do that here. We're very fortunate. Um, but we do still end up quite often being the, the last ones. ones out of the hall. And when really? we go on holiday... You constantly remind me we don't I, have to be last out of the hall. Honestly, when we were up in Kirkwall recently, the officer was away. <laughs> we and were we were still in the hall <laughs> because Cameron had a key. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, why are we last? One of the things is because it's one of the opportunities, one of the few opportunities that we actually get to speak to so many people um, during the week. And there's usually somebody got to speak and something really 
important to be said um, after a Sunday meeting. But when we're on holiday, I think it's probably just ingrained in us that we take that opportunity to speak to as many people as possible and without even thinking about it, we end up being amongst the last to actually exit the hall. Yeah. But I do regularly say to us, well, we don't have to be last. You know, today, we don't have to be last. We're not in charge today. This, this is not our core. This is not, you, we don't have to, but still we end up. We end up being last. Most times being yes. very much amongst the last. Absolutely. If not the last out. Yeah. So, yeah, there, <laughs> there are many times when we can be last. Uh, um, and sometimes being last has some really important element to it. It's not always a case of being last is a bad thing. And perhaps we're going to look at some of those ideas later on as well. So, another song. Number 866. Number 866. I have a friend of friends the fairest. I have known and proved him long. He, his is beauty, purest, rarest. His is love most true and strong. Ever since his kindness drew me and my newborn soul found breath, Jesus has been growing dearer till to lose him would be death. I have been a friend of fairest. I have known and built it long. His is beauty, pure as So this evening we're looking at Jesus, the best and the last. It's a very interesting um, Bible reading, one that we tread very carefully with in the Salvation Army. You know, earlier on I showed my bottle of iron brew and uh, was saying 
of course, with that, we have to be careful. Scotland's national drink is whiskey, and we're not promoting that. So I am brew, it is. And of course, when it comes to wine, it's the same problem, isn't it? You know, we've, we've had a couple of weddings recently, um, Erland and Rachel, of course, and uh, mm. then, of course, we went to the best man's wedding, didn't we? We, did. we went to Ross Wilson and Hannah. Hannah's wedding, and both were Salvation Army weddings. Um, so, there was no no uh, champagne or anything like that on the tables. I don't know if there was Iron Brew I, either, but I was drinking Iron Brew. You were in drinking Iron Brew. Yes. And, uh, <clears throat> of course, it's really important that I worry um, as the day approaches that everything's going to be right. And, of course, anybody who's had to arrange a wedding or, you know, been part of the wedding ceremony and, and all the rest, you know something's going to not be absolutely spot on on the day, but don't stress about it. The most important thing is the couple make their vows, they're genuine about them, um, that people are there to celebrate with them. Uh, and that really is what's important. The food is fantastic, but it's not the main thing. Drink is good, but it's not the main thing. The dancing is good, but it's not the main thing. The main thing is that the couple in all honesty, stand before God and make their vows together. So here was a situation where Jesus was kind of forced to actually do something. I don't know about you, but there are times when I need that little push. When I've been thinking about something, thinking about doing a thing and thinking perhaps too long and maybe as you were standing waiting to do your music exam. It's one of those kind of situations where you're trying to put it off. You're not sure how it's going to be received. You're not sure how you're going to do. You're not sure how it's going to work out. So you're trying to put it off, put it off, put it off. And then somebody gives you that little push and you get on and you just do it. Procrastination. Procrastination. You full of big words today. I am. I didn't eat a dictionary. Honestly. My goodness. <clears throat> anyway, procrastination, as Isabel says, is a bit of a problem. But when someone gives you that push, as Mary did with Jesus, he just said, well, do whatever he tells you to do. How did she know that Jesus could sort of? Had Jesus been trying these things at home? There's no evidence of that. But she knew at that moment that Jesus was going to have to step forward and make a difference. And so he did. Despite his initial hesitancy, my time has not yet come. Well, guess what? Your mum says it has. And that was the start <clears throat> of his ministry. Jesus was now going to transform his ministry by performing this first miracle. And the servants went and they filled the jars with water and suddenly it became wine. That's water. It's still water. <laughs> I'm trying not to be disappointed. <laughs> I'm not sacked anyway. It's still water. Jesus turned the water into wine and saved such embarrassment for the, the family. A, a wedding which in those days would go on for the, the whole week and it would cost a fortune. And it was just, it was one of those things that they had planned for um, since a child was born and they would put money aside and they would make sure that everything was working well. They would make sure the community would come together to make sure that there was no embarrassment. But there would have been a massive embarrassment had they run out of wine. And then what happens is it's not just wine, but it's the very best. And the family are praised for bringing out the very best later on. Now there is a bit of an analogy of what's already happened. 
because for hundreds of years, and let's see, this is where we are in my Bible. You've already gone through all of this before you get there. Hundreds of years, God has been doing good things for people. God has been supplying all the needs. People have been making mistakes. People have been seeking forgiveness. They've been coming before God and laying animals on the altar and killing them as a sacrifice and asking for forgiveness and asking to be made right with God. And suddenly it all changes when Jesus comes on the scene. God is saying no more of that, no more of the, the giving of sacrifices, no more of, of killing animals which have done nothing wrong. Actually, the price is going to be paid by Jesus. This is the best and it's coming last. There's been all of these people and the, the, the books, you know, the pages of the Bible are just full of so many names before Jesus. He's at the beginning. But there are so many names then come before we actually read the name of Jesus. And when he comes in, everything changes because all those before, all of those before, they fell short. Even the best. And we, we looked recently about how some of the, the greatest leaders in the Bible actually committed the, the sin of murder. Um, and here's Jesus, who in turn would not commit murder, but be murdered. Who would give his life so that our sin, the price of our sin, could be paid for. All of those people pointing the way towards the need for this saviour and Jesus who came to be that saviour. It just seems absolutely incredible that there would be so many people who would try and not live up to the standard. There was a whole host of instructions given to people for them to try and fall. And no matter how hard we try and no matter how we try to interpret the Bible, we're never actually able to get it all right. But the most important thing is to rely upon the one who did. To recognise that in Jesus there was a life not just well lived, but a life perfectly lived. There was a life that came to show us the way to God. There was God living amongst us. There was perfect sacrifice given for not just one person, but for all people not just for one time, but for all time. There was no more need for animal sacrifices. What there was a need for was a transformation <clears throat> in our hearts, in our thoughts, in our living, that we should try to live as closely to Jesus as possible, that we should try to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit, that we should try to follow the instruction of the Bible, which gives us such good guidance on how we can live our life, how we can avoid so many difficulties in our lives. And a lot of people take that as, a, I don't know, judgmentalism. In actual fact, the Bible's trying to help us avoid difficulties in our lives. So I pray for each one of us that we should come even if it's at the very last in our lives, to recognise Jesus Christ as our Saviour. If we recognise him before the last, then that's even better. That gives us the opportunity to live however many hours, days, weeks, years with him as our Saviour. I pray that you'll recognise that of all the prophets that went before, Jesus was the best. Jesus was the last of those prophets. And Jesus gave his all that you and I might have eternal life. 
our closing song for this evening is song number 94. There is a name I love to hear. I love to sing its worth. It sounds like music in my ear, the sweetest name on earth. Oh, how I love the Saviour's name, the sweetest name on earth. There is a name I love to hear, I love to sing its worth. It sounds like music in my ear, the sweetest name on earth. Oh, how I love the Saviour's name. Oh, how I love the Saviour's name. Oh, how I love the Saviour's name. The sweetest name on earth. It tells me of the Saviour's love who gave his life for me. Who come to him from sin may be set free. Oh, how I love the Saviour's name! Oh, how I love the Saviour's name! Oh, how I love the Saviour's name! The sweetest name on earth. Jesus, the name I love so the name I love to hear. No saint on earth is worth can tell, no heart can see for dear. Oh, how I love the Saviour's name. Oh, how I love the Saviour's name. Oh, how I love the Saviour's name. The sweetest name on earth. Sin and sorrow free. I'll sing a new eternal song of Jesus' love for me. Oh, how I love the Saviour's name! Oh, how I love the Saviour's name! Oh, how I love the Saviour's name! The sweetest name. Thank you so much for joining with us this evening and we pray that you've um, had a, a nice time of fellowship with us though we're far apart we're all together um, in the love of Jesus and um, as Bruce has said we are going to sing our uh, benediction this evening and if you've got a Salvation Army songbook it's 1041 if you want to join in with us we look forward um, to sharing with you again next week it's a songs of praise, so if you haven't already put a favourite in, then please do so. And uh, if we don't put anything up on Facebook, you know that there's still room for plenty more. Uh, um, and we will tell you when the list is full. <clears throat> this, this is the God we adore, our faithful, unchangeable friend, mm -hmm. whose love is as great as his power, and knows neither measure nor end. Tis Jesus the first and the last, whose spirit shall guide us safe home. We'll praise him for all that is past, and trust him for all that's to come. This, this is the God we adore, oh, faithful, unchangeable friend, whose love is as great as his power, and knows neither measure nor end. Jesus, the first and the last, the Spirit shall guide us safe We'll praise Him for all that is past, and trust Him for all that's to come. Thank you so much for joining with us this evening. We look forward to hearing from you. We'll go through the list and uh, see what songs there are chosen for next week. But have a wonderful week. And uh, please join with us again next week. Good night. Good night. God, God bless. bless you.